Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll be going over how to track performance marketing in Postdoc. Performance marketing is paying for clicks, ads, and attention in order to convert people into being users and customers of your product. Companies use platforms like Google, Facebook, and ad networks to do this. Tracking performance marketing is important because you spend money on it. Getting a return and optimizing the return of this money helps you succeed. And in order to help you do this, we're gonna set up some insights in Postdoc for you to use. Tracking performance marketing relies heavily on UTMs or urgent tracking modules. What is an urgent tracking module? So when you click a sponsored link, for example, this Microsoft ad, you'll see that when we go to the Microsoft page in the URL, there's gonna be a question mark and then a whole bunch of different IDs and strings of numbers. So these are pieces of information attached to the URL that provide insights to Microsoft about what campaign, where's the source, kind of all the information they need to track their performance marketing. And you can customize these and platforms like Google, Facebook, and others provide abilities to automate these. And we can see all of this within Postdoc. So to use these UTMs in Postdoc, we automatically capture a bunch of them. You can see them in filter if you just sort by UTM. So you'll see that we have access to the UTM source, which is things like Google, Bing, and Facebook, and Twitter, the campaign, the content, the medium, and the term. So you can set these manually if you like in your links, or you can use the, the platform's ad platform to set these automatically. These values also get set on persons, so people will have UTMs and also initial UTMs, which are really useful for tracking. And then we also track some click IDs. So for areas like Google, Facebook, and Microsoft, we automatically capture click IDs that you can use to filter events and create different insights. And we're going to show you how to use some of them here. We can use these filters to figure out more about where our traffic is coming from. So we can go into the event properties and we can check UTM source. We can check that it's set and then we'll break down by UTM source. And this will give us a graph of different sources of traffic that we can use to compare sources. So you'll see that Google is the most popular. Then we have some other campaigns running and newsletter campaigns and seeing where each one is doing and how they stack up against each other. So if we were spending more in one area but weren't getting the return on traffic, that would be a sign to change things up there. If we wanted to dive more specifically into what specific channels are doing, then we can change this from is set to equals and then we'll get some options. So if we wanted to see specifically how Twitter was doing every week, we can set up a Twitter specific graph and we can copy this and we can add another trend for Quora and see how they compare against each other. If instead of a source, we wanted to look at a specific campaign, we can do campaigns as well. So we'll look up UTM campaign and we'll choose our brand campaign here. And we see we have some good traffic coming in from this. And we wanna make sure that it's coming from Google. So we can add another filter for the Google Click ID. And that confirms that this traffic is coming from Google with this brand campaign and not elsewhere. So understanding traffic from UTMs is great, but what most companies care about is signups. This is more important for a lot of companies because they're paying money for this. They don't just want traffic, they want signups. So we can also use a signup event and then run filters on specific sources. And we can look at the initial source or we can look at the normal source so the normal utm source will be their most recently set utm source so if someone comes back and clicks an ad they will get a second utm source the initial utm source is only set once so this is something we care about more where are users first hearing about us so we'll set that we'll make sure that that is set and then we'll break down by that one as well 
and this will give us some idea of the initial UTM sources that people are coming from. And again, we'll see that Google is on top. A bonus tip for tracking performance marketing with Postdog is having a field on signup that users can enter in where they heard about you. We use this in our signup process, as you can see here. I'll just enter in some details and then I'll press continue and you see that what is your role? Where did you hear about us? We use this field to kind of track how our marketing in general is doing and performance marketing is part of that. This triggers an event in Posthog that we can then keep track of and do analysis on. So back in our Posthog instance, we're going to set up a funnel to compare how our channels are doing and this funnel is going to go from an initial page view to the sign up page to signed up. So we're going to add some steps here. We already have the signed up event from our trends and all the analysis we were doing on that one. We're going to add a page view event. So we're going to add an initial page view. We're going to add another page view that is specifically going to be on the sign up page. So we're going to add a filter for current URL. And this is going to contain posthog.com slash signup. And we're going to make sure that these are from a UTM source. So we're going to have UTM source is set. And this one also, we want to make sure that UTM source is set so that it's consistent across our events. And then finally, we'll have a user signed up event with the UTM is set as well. So here we can see that we have a large number of users coming in our funnel, a drop off of about 88% going to our signed up page, and then of those people, 57 convert over. And we can again here break down by UTM source. And then we'll see how different sources are performing across the funnel. So you'll see that this level up, a newsletter, is performing really well as there's been one person who clicked on the page view and went to sign up. If instead we wanted to see how this funnel was converting over time, we can switch the graph type to historical trends, and then we can kind of get an idea of our conversion rate over time. So the, the funnel does a lot worse in the beginning of the week than it does nearing the end of the week. This allows us to track our performance marketing over time and see how changes to our performance marketing are affecting our funnel. So that has been an introduction to how to set up performance marketing tracking with Postdog. I hope that gives you some idea how to test new channels, optimize existing channels, and compare channels. We provided you some insights that can help you do all three of those things. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe, and check out postdog.com slash tutorials for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching.